welcome to Vision of China. China's recent decision to dramatically reduce its U.S. Treasury holdings has sent shockwaves through the global financial system. By selling off 44% of its U.S. debt holdings, China is making a calculated move that directly challenges America's economic supremacy and could fundamentally alter the dynamics of international finance. But why is China willing to disrupt a system that has served it for decades? What are the potential consequences for the United States and the global economy as power shifts eastward? Let's dive into the details to understand the impact of this financial upheaval. The election of Donald Trump as President of the United States marked a significant turning point in Sino-American relations. His introduction of punitive tariffs on Chinese goods set the stage for an era of heightened economic competition. Since then, China has shifted its strategy, focusing on expanding its exports, stabilizing its economy, and reducing its reliance on American financial instruments. Now, China has taken an even bolder step, selling off a significant portion of its U.S. Treasury holdings. This move isn't just a financial maneuver. It's a geopolitical message aimed directly at America's dominance. China, once the largest foreign holder of U.S. debt, has sold off 44% of its U.S. Treasury holdings. Japan, the second largest holder, is also joining in, further accelerating the transformation of the financial status quo. This massive withdrawal isn't merely an economic adjustment. It's a strategic shift with far-reaching implications for the balance of global financial power. The question remains, why now? And what does it mean for the rest of the world? The decision to reduce its holdings was not a sudden one. It has been years in the making. China has quietly been divesting, reflecting an erosion of confidence in the stability of U.S. fiscal policies. The significance of U.S. treasuries in the global economy cannot be understated. They have long been the bedrock of stability, the go-to investment for nations seeking a safe place to park their reserves. China's retreat from these bonds signals a fundamental shift in its approach to economic security and a clear message to Washington. The reasons behind China's sell-off are multifaceted. First and foremost, Beijing aims to shield itself from vulnerability tied to the U.S. economy. Holding U.S. Treasuries links China's economic stability directly to the financial health of Washington, a dependency that is no longer tenable for Beijing. With the United States currently facing record budget deficits and rising inflationary pressures, holding onto these bonds has become increasingly risky. By reducing its exposure, China is attempting to disentangle itself from a potential financial time bomb. Secondly, this move is also a geopolitical statement. During the 2008 financial crisis, foreign investment in U.S. bonds was crucial in stabilizing the global economy. And China played a significant role in supporting the U.S. financial system. However, Beijing is now signaling that it will not be bailing out the U.S. during the next crisis. This is a clear message to the world that China is no longer willing to prop up America's borrowing habits. Additionally, China is not merely selling off treasuries. It's also diversifying its financial portfolio. This includes increasing investments in gold and strengthening economic ties within BRICS to create an alternative financial ecosystem that doesn't depend on the U.S. dollar. This is a deliberate long-term strategy designed to reduce reliance on American economic dominance and build a more resilient, multipolar financial system. The significance of Japan's participation in this trend cannot be overlooked. As the second largest holder of U.S. debt, Japan's decision to reduce its treasury holdings adds substantial momentum to the shift away from U.S. dollar dependency. For decades, the U.S. dollar has been the currency of choice for international trade and finance, the backbone of global reserves, and the ultimate safe haven during crises. But history has shown that no dominant currency remains at the top indefinitely. As China, Japan, and other nations pull back from the dollar, the question of whether we are witnessing the beginning of the end for the greenback's supremacy becomes increasingly relevant. China's decision to divest from U.S. Treasuries also has significant implications for the geopolitical landscape. The U.S. dollar's dominance has provided Washington with tremendous power, including the ability to impose sanctions and influence global markets at will. 
By eroding this supremacy, China and its allies are aiming to diminish America's ability to leverage its financial power in geopolitical disputes. Russia, too, has been diversifying away from dollar-denominated assets since 2014, and other emerging economies are following suit, exploring alternatives such as trading in local currencies or investing in gold. The ripple effects of this shift are already evident. BRICS nations are actively working towards creating a unified trading currency, and cryptocurrencies are gaining traction as decentralized financial tools. While the US dollar remains the most trusted and liquid currency globally, cracks are beginning to form in its dominance. These gradual changes suggest that a future where multiple currencies share global influence is no longer just a theoretical possibility. China's moves are part of a broader strategy to reduce its reliance on the US and increase its influence on the global stage. The Belt and Road Initiative is a prime example of this strategy. Through the BRI, China has invested billions of dollars in infrastructure projects across Asia, Africa, and Latin America, creating a network of economic influence that is less dependent on Western financial institutions and more aligned with Beijing's goals. The countries that join the BRI become integrated into China's expanding economic sphere, which weakens the influence of Western powers. China's participation in BRICS further highlights its ambitions. The coalition of emerging economies is working on developing alternatives to the dollar-dominated financial system, including increasing trade in local currencies and exploring the possibility of a unified trading currency. These initiatives aim to create a financial environment where trade is less vulnerable to U.S. economic policies and more reflective of the diverse economic interests of the member countries. Another key aspect of China's strategy is its investment in gold. Unlike fiat currencies, gold is not tied to any one nation's economy, making it a stable store of value during times of uncertainty. By increasing its gold reserves, China is making a clear statement that it is preparing for a future where the US dollar may no longer be the world's primary reserve currency. This diversification strategy is aimed at building a more robust financial system that is less exposed to the volatility and political risks associated with the U.S. economy. The potential consequences for the U.S. economy are significant. As major foreign holders like China and Japan divest from U.S. treasuries, borrowing costs for the United States are likely to rise. When bond prices fall due to reduced demand, yields increase which means higher interest rates across the board, from government borrowing to consumer loans. This scenario could lead to increased financial strain on American households and businesses, further exacerbating economic challenges like inflation. The broader concern, however, is the potential erosion of trust in U.S. Treasuries as the safest investment in the world. Should confidence in U.S. bonds falter, foreign investors may seek alternatives such as gold, other national currencies, or even cryptocurrencies. This shift could lead to increased market volatility and a reduced ability for the U.S. to finance its debt at affordable rates, thereby weakening its overall financial position. China's actions are not just about financial security. They represent a fundamental challenge to U.S. hegemony. By reducing its reliance on the dollar and actively working to build alternative systems of global finance. Beijing is positioning itself as a leader in a new, multipolar financial order. This could lead to a more balanced global economy where emerging markets have greater autonomy and trade is less dominated by a single currency. However, this shift also carries risks, including increased financial fragmentation and potential geopolitical tensions as new power structures emerge. For the United States, this marks the end of an era of unchallenged financial dominance. The question now is whether America can adapt to a rapidly evolving global financial landscape. The stakes are high, and the U.S.'s ability to maintain its influence will depend on its capacity to innovate and respond to these shifting dynamics. China's actions are not merely a financial maneuver. They are part of a larger strategy to reshape the rules of international finance and challenge America's long-standing dominance. As we witness these monumental changes, it's worth asking, can the U.S. rise to meet these challenges, or are we on the brink of a new era where China leads the way?
The days of unchallenged U.S. financial supremacy are clearly numbered, and the world stands on the cusp of a major transformation.